Hokage Puya here, guys, and Julian Nagelsmann releases his provisional team. We'll get to why I'm saying it like this, provisional. Basically releases his confirmed Euro 2024 squad as we head into the Euros in Germany this summer 2024 with the Germans obviously being the host nation. And Julian Nagelsmann has dropped the squad for the Euros. We're going to go over it right now. General thoughts, I think... I give him if I'm supposed if I'm giving Julian Nagelsmann a grade on his squad selection, I give him an A minus because I have a li a couple of things I do need to complain about, but overall smart picks from Nagelsmann. I see the vision, and without further ado, let's just get into it. Shout out to Aimea San Mia, the best Twitter account. I love this Twitter account. Um, they're always updating the German and Bayern fans on everything relating to the two teams. And here's the provisional list so the reason why i say provisional is because this is you're only allowed a 26 man squad at the euros and this is a 27 man list so by the time the euros start one of these players that you see on the see on your screen will be uh told to go home basically um so yeah let's just start start from the goalie go to the defenders midfield attacker so goalies this is where I have my first issue, but we have Oliver Bauman, Manuel Neuer, Alexander Nubel, and Ter Stegen. What I like about these picks is that obviously Neuer's there, no injuries. Yes, he made that mistake against Real Madrid that I still cannot believe he made, but he, for me, is still one of the best goalies, if not the best goalie in the world, in my opinion. So he's obviously going to be in between the goal, pil goal posts for Germany this summer. Um, Another thing I like is that Nubel is finally getting his first international experience at a tournament. He's supposed to be Neuer's successor for Germany and for Bayern. I'm still not 100% sold on Alexander Nubel. Um, I think guys like Stefan Ortega are better than him, but obviously Stefan Ortega is a little bit older than Nubel right now. Um, but yeah, Manuel Neuer is obviously going to be the number one. Nubel and Ter Stegen probably fighting for a number two spot. I have never ever seen Ter Stegen play a game for Germany and he's looked comfortable. I've never seen it. So that's why I say Nubel can be competing for number two. And obviously Bauman's their experienced goalie. Guys like Kevin Trapp left out. Bert Leno got injured. Bert Leno was going to be the fourth goalie, but he got injured and so he won't be able to go to the tournament. Um, I would have liked to see Stefan Ortega. Seriously, I would have liked to see Stefan Ortega possibly have been the fourth goalie in all honesty. I think he is probably the second best German goalie after Neuer. If I'm being completely honest and truthful with you guys, I really think Stefan Ortega is making mistakes staying at City. He needs to go to a big team and get minutes if he wants to get into this German team. Okay? Um, so, yeah. So, I think these are great selections overall. My only issue is that why do you need four goalies? Nagelsmann came out and he said something about why he wanted four goalies, how he wanted as many options as possible. Because remember, typically squads are supposed to be only 23-man squads. But this year for the Euros, they increased it to 26. I think that might be staying permanently for further World Cups and Euros and Copa America tournaments. So yeah, my issue is though, I don't think if you have those extra three spots, I don't think you put them in goalie. I don't think you bring a fourth goalie, to be honest. So that's where I get some minus points for Nagelsmann. I think you could probably leave Bauman at home. And in my opinion, if I'm choosing... I honestly would choose Manuel Neuer. I think based on credibility, you have to go to Ter Stegen. And then you take your pick of Nubel, Stefan Ortega, Kevin Trapp, Bernd Leno, in my opinion. So yeah, all, overall good picks. The most important thing for this German team is Neuer is there. Neuer is in goal because he's going to be key for this German team. He's going to be key for us to win this thing and to do something this summer. Into the defense, you got Waldmar Anton from uh, Stuttgart, Benjamin Heinrichs from Leipzig, Joshua Kimmich, obviously Bayern, Robin Koch, not sure why he's on the list, but Robin Koch uh, from Eintracht Frankfurt, Mittelstadt from Stuttgart, David Raum, Antonio Rudiger, Nico Schlotterberg, Jonathan Ta. Overall, great picks from Nagelsmann. I don't have too many issues here. My only issue is Robin Koch. Why is Robin Koch here? Honestly, if you're bringing Robin Koch, let's be honest, he won't get any game time. And he's probably, in my opinion, not even a center back for Germany's future. If you're going to bring a guy, younger guy like Robin Koch in, why, have, why, don't, why aren't you choosing a guy like Bisek at Inter? Why aren't you choosing Malik Thia from AC Milan, who's a young German center back and he's been one of AC Milan's starting center backs in the Serie A? 
why has Robin Koch been chosen over a Malikthia Abasek? Two, two kids that are playing in Serie A and getting serious minutes over there. I don't really get it. I think Robin Koch's future isn't that bright, let's be honest. And I don't know why he's in this team. And for me, we'll get to Robin Koch later. I'm going to say something about him. But I think everyone else has deserved. Benjamin Heinrichs, Anton Kimmich, Mittelstadt, Raum, Rudiger schlotterbeck Um, I see a lot of people complaining that Mats Hummels isn't in the team. And to be honest, I think out of the Dortmund defenders, you only should choose either Hummels or Schlotterbeck because the truth is, and what many people, people are letting recency bias affect their feeling towards those Dortmund guys. Schlotterbeck and Hummels have been garbage in the Bundesliga all season long. Yes, they have been fantastic in the Champions League the entire season, and they have led Dortmund to a Champions League final. But they have been garbage in the Bundesliga. So in my opinion, you can't take both of them because there's plenty of guys on this list that deserve it more, if I'm being completely honest. So if you're going to choose one of the two, I think Schlotterbeck is probably the better pick because Schlotterbeck, you get him in the team, you get him more international experience at these tournaments because a guy like Hummels, let's be honest, Hummels, if he was chosen, would play bench the whole entire time because the starting center backs for Germany this summer are going to be Jonathan Ta and Antonio Rudiger. That's 100% the two starting center backs in the back four. Joshua Kimmich is going to be the right back. And Maximilian Mittelstadt is going to be the left back. So Hummels was never really going to get minutes anyway. So it's better to give um, it's better to give Nico Schlotterbeck that experience. If, he, if Nagelsmann is really planning on Schlotterbeck being a key player in this German defense in the future. Just saying. Midfield. Let's go to midfield. Andrich, fully deserved. Chris Fudic, we love to see it. Winger, fast, dynamic, exciting player. Pascal Gross has been Brian's best and most consistent player all season. Gundogan, you know how I feel about Gundogan as the number 10. I'm not sold on it, but he obviously deserves to be in the team. Our boy Tony Cruz is back. Love to see it. Obviously, Jamal Musiala and Alexander Pavlovich, a guy who wasn't even starting for Bayern a year ago, becomes one of Bayern's most... Byron's most important players this season and gets a call to the home Euros for Germany. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we got him into the German team and, and, and convinced him to choose Germany. Obviously, Leroy Sané, Florian Wirtz, all amazing picks for me. Amazing picks. I think there's two surprising uh, people. There's two people that weren't picked and people are kind of arguing for. The two are Julian Brandt and Leon Goretzka. Now, I think if you're arguing for Leon Goretzka, I think the one player you can replace and justify putting Leon Goretzka in this team for is Pascal Gross. But let's be honest, I think Pascal Gross at the moment is a better player. The thing is, Goretzka's role at Bayern has been a shift of playing a defensive mid and center back. And we don't really need him in that role in this team because we have Andrich, and Andrich is going to be the guy that starts next to Tony Cruz in the summer. So, you know, Goretzka, was always, he, I think his, his performances did deserve to get into the team, but unfortunately, as I said in my Euros predictions video, for the first time in a while, the German national team is finally having a bunch of players coming into a tournament in form. So it's always going to be tough. Um, Pavlovich, excited. Musiala, Vert's going to be the star players of this team. Cruz, midfield leader. It's going to be great. I'm, I, I don't. The, 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 and then also the other one was Brandt. A lot of people are complaining for Brandt. But you can't have that many 10s in the team. And we already have Vert's, Musiala, Sane can play as the 10. Gundogan is the 10 for the team. We don't really have a place for another, what, a fifth attacking mid? And let's be honest, I would put Brandt fifth in that pecking order. So it's unfortunate. I think Brandt should con con continue to keep working hard because he has a great chance at being at the World Cup for Germany in two years' time in the United States. So Brandt, if I advise Brandt, don't give up, man. Keep working hard and, and, and earn your spot in two years at the World Cup. And obviously, our, our strikers... Dennis Undaf, Thomas Müller, Kai Havertz, Niklas Fulkrug, Maximilian Bayer, the young striker from Hoffenheim. No complaints here for me. Um, Fulkrug, I think, should be the starting striker, but I think Nagelsmann is going for Havertz as a striker, which isn't too bad because Havertz has been one of Arsenal's best players in the second half of the season as they charge for the Premier League title. Dennis Undaf, one of the best strikers in the Bundesliga this season. Niklas Fulkrug. Doesn't have as many goals in the Bundesliga this season, but has been one of Dortmund's best players and key reason as to why they got to the Champions League final so far. 
And Thomas Muller's there. Yeah, if you go performance wise, I would say Thomas Muller is probably the least deserving, but it's Thomas Muller. It's a home Euros, and we need a leader like that in the attack. We need a leader in the attack. We need a leader in the midfield, defense, and goalkeeping. Neuer's our goalkeeper leader. Uh, Rudiger's our defensive leader. Cruz is our midfield leader. And Muller is our leader in the attacking phase of the game the, for the attacking players. So I think it makes sense to have Muller. Um, full crew deserve, Undav deserved. Anybody, I can't really think of anyone who was maybe snubbed. People are saying Adeyemi and those guys. I don't think Adeyemi would have been in a midfield a midfield pick anyway. I don't think Adeyemi was good enough all season. So Janabri didn't make the team. That's another big inclusion, but he's been injured and he just tore his hamstring. So he wasn't going to be fit for the Euros. I think if Janabri didn't injure his hamstrings, he could have made it. And you could have seen a guy like Pascal Gross sacrificed, or you could have seen the fourth goalie spot sacrificed to bring someone like Janabri into the team. Just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think overall, A minus rating for Julian Nagelsmann squad pick. Um, Something I'll say, because this is the provisional team, the two players I'm hearing that are basically fighting for this place in the team are, um, what is it, Robin Koch and Maximilian Bayer. So when they go to training with this with the national team, they really have to impress because Bill is reporting that it's either going to be Koch or Bayer that gets left at home and cut out of the squad before the Euro starts. I think it's unfortunate. I think the fourth, I really don't understand the fourth goalkeeping choice. I think you have three goalies. So then you have an extra option in midfield, in attack, in defense. So you can actually, with the fourth, if you take away the fourth goalie, you can potentially have a brand. You could potentially have Goretzka in the team. Just my opinion. So, or you could potentially even have Hummel still in defense. Because my thing is, I don't think Koch, will be left at home. I think it's most likely going to be Bayer because if you send Robin Koch home, then we have four center backs and, you know, with injuries and the luck for the Germans in the past couple of years with injuries, I need as many center backs in the team as possible. So I think ultimately, I think Maximilian Bayer will be left at home, um, which wouldn't be a big loss. He's super young. He has tons of time to make it into the Germany team especially for that World Cup in two years and, and future World Cup. So Julian Nagelsmann, great picks for me. The squad is looking good. A lot of players coming into form. Like, let's just go through the list. Neuer's in form. Our starting goal is in form. Joshua Kimmich is in form. Rudiger, one of the best center backs in the world. Jonathan Tau, one of the best center backs in the world. Mito Schott, probably best left back in the lead alongside Grimaldo in the Bundesliga. Tony Cruz in form. Musiala in form, Pavlovich in form, Florian Wirtz in form, Robert Andrich in form, Chris Furich in form, Niklas Fulkrug is in form, Thomas, no, I mean Kai Havertz is in form, Dennis Undav is in form. So there, this Germany team is looking dangerous. I like what I'm seeing. A minus, A minus grade for Nagelsmann squad picks. I think he's really doing what I asked for him when he became manager is, don't overcomplicate things. Don't try to be a tactico. Your job as a national team manager is to choose your best players, keep them happy, and send them out there playing to their strength. I think he's showing that with his squad selection, he understands that, and he knows that, okay, this is not the time for me to be Julian, Julian Nagelsmann, the tactico. This is the time for me Juli, to be Julian Nagelsmann, the young, fearless leader. And uh, uh, the the likable, the personable and likable guy within the squad to send that team out as happy as possible and as confident as possible to go and take that Euros trophy after two back-to-back -back World Cup group stage losses, which is unacceptable, unacceptable for this team to go out of the groups back-to-back -back World Cups, unacceptable. So I'm excited for the tournament. If you haven't seen my Euros group predictions, I posted it a couple days ago. Go watch that. Um, and yeah, Nagelsmann, good job, bro. I'm having hope. Hopefully no one gets injured. There's still a month until the Euros. I'm praying no one gets injured, um, especially key players like Rudiger, Musiala, Wurz, Neuer. No injuries, please. Until next time, guys. Peace.